Hey guys, RetroPass here, and today I'm going to show you how you can download older versions of Windows as ISOs. So at the minute, if I come to the official Windows 11 download page, as you can see, the current version is 24H2. And if we scroll down, there is no other way to download the older ISOs. So if we downloaded the ISO from here, it would be the 24H2 version. Now, if you want to use an older version, so for example, I'm going to be getting hold of 23H2, we need to come to this link here. The link will be in the description, and this is UUP Dump. So what UUP Dump will do is it will download the unified update platforms, so the UUP files directly from Microsoft, and will then combine them into an ISO. So you just want to search for the type of build that you want. So I'm going to search for Windows 11 23H2. And if I now press enter, we can now see it's found 124 different builds. And if you look at the list, there is a mix of AMD 64 and ARM 64. So versions made for the x64 architecture and some made for the ARM64 architecture. So if you're running an ARM CPU, you would want to get the ARM64 version. And if you're on the most common x64 architecture, so if you have an AMD or an Intel CPU, I don't believe they've manufactured any ARM CPUs. So if you're using AMD or Intel, you will most definitely be using x64 architecture. If you're unsure, you will just have to research the type of CPU that your machine currently has. So I'm on the x64 architecture, so I will just refine my search down to AMD64. You don't have to if you don't want, but that will just make the list easier to look through. So as you can see, this is the most up-to-date version of Windows 11 23H2 that we have. So if we just click on the build here, and then you want to select your language. So I'm just going to change my language, and then you want to click Next. Now here you just want to select the edition that you want. You'll most likely just want to have the Windows Pro and Windows Home selected as the installer for Windows 11 is the same for Windows 11 and Windows Pro. It just uses the product key to decide which version is installed. If you want to force your Windows 11 installer to be either Home or Pro, I've done a video on how you can force it to be Pro and the process is the same for Home. So if you want to look at that, you can do. But once you've selected your edition, you then just need to click Next and then you just need to click Create Download Package. So now that file is downloaded, we will just come to our downloads and we will just unzip the file. And now we've unzipped the file, we can get rid of the zipped version. And inside of it, I will just change my sort so it's easier to read. You should be able to see that there is a Windows version, a macOS version, and a Linux version. So as I'm on Windows, I'm going to be using the Windows version and I will just delete the other two files as I know I'm not going to need them. So we now need to run this bat file as administrator. So if you just right click on it and then click run as administrator. And I have smart screen blocked, so it's going to come up with this, but I'm going to click run anyway. And then if we click yes, and then it will say R to run. And it will now start downloading all of the UUP files and will then eventually convert it to an ISO for us. So I'll just let it do that and I'll be back with you. Right, so now the script is finally finished, so we can now just enter Q. And now if we look in the location that we ran the original script from, you can now see there is an ISO file. So this is the ISO file that was created by the script. So I will just rename it to Windows 11 23H2, as that is what the ISO is. So now if we open it up, as you can see, it looks like a normal Windows ISO, and you can use it however you want. So for example, if you want to use Rufus to create a boot image, you can do. But there we go, we now have the ISO of Windows 11 23H2. So guys, hopefully that worked for you. If you liked the video, don't forget the like button. If you did like to hit the dislike button, subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you another time. Bye.